I have a very unusual relationship with West Side Story insofar as I don't know if I like this story. I saw it on stage about 10 years ago, maybe 11 years ago, and I didn't like it. It was the first time I'd seen it and I just didn't enjoy it. And I was you know, well aware that it could have just been a bad production. But because of that, despite the fact that I'm aware of the soundtrack and actually like quite a few of the songs, I never got round to watching the classic film. And um, this is, of course, the film that was released in uh, 1961, the 10 Academy Award winning film, which is insane. We will look at those awards in a moment. Um, but I never got around to watching it, but I really, really want to see the new Spielberg film. So I thought, until I see that, I will actually watch the original and see what it's like. Having now watched it, it started off bad. For the first seven minutes, I'm not. there are no spoilers in this, um, until maybe towards the end where I need to kind of discuss something. But for the first seven minutes, nothing, literally nothing happens. There are some guys playing basketball and clicking their fingers. They don't even start singing for a really long time. And I thought, well, if this is the pacing throughout the film, I'm not going to be able to engage with this. But actually, once the Sharks and the Jets kind of met and we could start to feel that tension and feel that threat, I feel like it began to pick up. And once they started to launch into song, I started to enjoy it. The choreography, I will say, throughout is one of the things that impressed me most. The choreography is brilliant. The vocal performances are really good. The song composition, really pleasing. But the choreography is top notch. Set designs, not so much. Not bad, but I just didn't think they were very brilliant. So this is where I'm going to look at the Oscars and see that it got set design. I haven't looked at which Oscars it got yet. Um, I'll wait until I've kind of mentioned what I liked and didn't like and then see how wrong I am, according to the cricket crickets. <laughs> The critics. Good heavens. Um, the story itself, if you're unaware of it, is very loosely based on Romeo and Juliet. And it's about two rival gangs, um, the Sharks and the Jets. And uh, they're in New York City. And it's obviously a race rivalry, which is something that I think is always really interesting to watch because it's something that's um, prevalent constantly, unfortunately. Um, but the Jets are the white gang, if you like, and the Sharks are the Latino gang. And to be honest, I feel like it's never really explained why they hate each other. And on the one hand, I think that that's really good because a lot of racism um, or gang rivalry is created just because the other gang is different in some way. But at the same time, I would have liked some context as to why this particular gang was going after this other particular gang. It kind of touches upon it, but for me, my characters, when I'm watching or reading or writing something, they need motivation. But then I guess, you know, Rachel, Ra Rachel Prejudice, well, I don't know what is wrong with me today. Racial prejudice is, um, you know, rife without reason, unfortunately. Um... But anyway, those are the two rival gangs, and as I said, loosely based on Romeo and Juliet, a white boy falls in love with a, white, a Latina girl, Tony and Maria, and of course this can't happen. And this puts a lot of tension on them as they have to start meeting secretly, it also puts a lot of pressure on the groups um, as you're just waiting for somebody to find out. Will they find out what's going to happen? How far will they be able to keep this relationship a secret and what's the worst thing that could possibly happen if somebody finds out i won't at the moment say what happens but i will towards the end of this when i discuss it in more detail because i was very i was very impressed with the ending i can't say any more than that um i apologize if you can hear some traffic outside of my window um it's not rush hour you can imagine what it's like when it is um but I won't give any spoilers at the moment. But that I, I found to be um, quite good. I think the way they handled those characters, the editing with how it went back and forth between their secret relationship and then the gang rivalries, I just found the narrative flowed really well. The songs were introduced at really good points. Everything felt believable within the realms of a musical. Um, Rita Moreno, I absolutely love as Anita. Uh, she is um, fantastic. Natalie Wood as Maria obviously gave an absolutely stunning performance, vocally astounding, 
uh, Somewhere is one of my all time favourite songs and I just think that, you know, it's, it's not actually my favourite interpretation but I think she did a pretty beautiful job with it. So, the Oscars. West Side Story won Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress, uh, best, best Actor in a Supporting Role to George Chakiris, Chak Chakiris, Best Actress in a Supporting Role to Rita Moreno, Best Director, was directed by um, Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins, uh, Best Cinematography in Colour, Best Art Direction in Colour, Best Costume Design in Colour. I will say the costumes did look fantastic, particularly the dresses. Although there was a dance scene that lasted far too long. There were a lot of pacing issues, particularly in the first half of this film. Um, best Sound, Best Film Editing and Best Music Scoring of a Musical Picture. It was also nominated for Best uh, Writing as well. So it did exceptionally well and I can the awards it won. I actually agree with. Set decoration? No, I don't. But the rest of it? Yeah, I do. So, spoiler. Just one spoiler from now, but I'm about to say what happens at the end of the film. Spoiler alert. So that the death scene really made me mad. Because there was literally no reason for it. When Tony was shot, it was not done in accident. It was not done out of a moment of heated anger. It was done out of years of pent-up rage for no reason and just a spiteful little boy who couldn't get his toys so he thought he'd throw everything else out of the pram while he was at it. I don't necessarily know what I mean by that metaphor, but I'm too angered to care. I was so furious. It's not like they were having a big gang off I don't know what that's called but it's not like they were all there together fighting and you know jarring and and jibing and and encouraging each other and then somebody just thought to hell with it and you know shot him this was just a moment of it, it's kind of like a mixture of being spontaneously fueled by rage but also being cold and calculating and it's very odd but it comes across so well and I just thought this is very moving. Unnecessary. A lot of people could learn a lot from this. And the worst thing, the worst thing, is that this was 50 years ago. Obviously delivering a very important message. This still happens with gangs every single day. Not even gangs, just hatred for hatred's sake resulting in death. Or at best, severe violence. Um, and I kind of, towards the end, thought, this is a really good film. This is a really important message. And I just think the second half of the film delivers it very well. The first half is actually pretty poor. It's very slow. The pacing is terrible. Maybe the first half's a bit mean. Let's see the first third. But if you stick with it, it's, it's worth it. Will I ever see it on stage again? Maybe. As I said... Although I was well aware that the first time I saw it on stage, it may have just been a poor production, which I now think it was. Um, it hasn't put me off seeing it on stage. I'm desperate to see, to see Spielberg's version still. But I can confirm, having now given the classic film a chance, after the pacing picked up, it was a lot better than I expected. <laughs>